Esophageal achalasia is, is somewhat a rare disorder, um, and most of the time it occurs in the teenagers and adults. Uh, it's somewhat rare in children. Uh, most of the centers are pretty lucky if they see about one to two cases per year. Uh, we actually are um, somewhat a regional referral center, so we have probably about 10 to 15 cases per year. Uh, those are very specific disorders when most of the time the valve between your stomach and uh, food pipe, which is called lower esophageal sphincter, um, is closed uh, and your food pipe itself doesn't work properly. That leads to dilation of the food pipe and children to be unable to swallow and bring the food into their stomach. That will follow up with respiratory infections and regurgitation and frequently kids will start to vomit uh, undigested food. Um, you can start to evaluate this um, with radiology and endoscopy, but the truly only way to diagnose this problem um, is with esophageal manometry. And this is one of the things that we, or procedures that we offer at uh, New York Presbyterian, um, where we are able to place um, a very sophisticated solid state catheter into their esophagus and ask them to work with us to evaluate the swallowing mechanism. And we are very able to very precisely tell if there's a problem and what part of the esophagus might have the problem. If somebody is diagnosed with esophageal um, echolasia, um, there's few options. Um, most of the time will result either to um, a dilation of the lower esophageal sphincter, so this is the valve between the esophagus and the stomach, and that can be done in a variety of ways, starting from a Botox injections into that area to a balloon, physical balloon dilation. Um, Unfortunately, most of the children will eventually require some kind of surgical intervention, and frequently what they do is uh, what we call a heller myotomy with fund application. That means that part of the lower food pipe will be dilated surgically, uh, but also at the same time, surgeon will do a, a partial wrap around the esophagus uh, using part of the stomach to prevent significant reflux. Um, and we actually have quite a few surgeons over here who specialize in those procedures um, and we work very closely with them.